balanced view is a, it's not only an introduction to the nature of our intelligence, it's a guarantee in alignment with reality as it is. And it's a guarantee that restores our mind, restores our intelligence to its purpose, its ultimate purpose of benefit for all. And so there's no, you know, skirting around the ultimate disposition of a human being being ultimately for the benefit of all. And this is so inspiring because we're greeted and welcomed with uh, the power of our mind from the very beginning. There's no one saying, this is what you lack, and this is what you need to change to be better. From the very beginning of being introduced to balanced view and the nature of intelligence, it's you are a powerful being of great benefit, indivisible from all, all beings everywhere. And this is your opportunity to make the choice to not only recognize it, but take it all the way to spontaneous benefit in every circumstance, no matter what. This uh, opportunity to immerse in the resources on the website, to be on calls, be in trainings, and enjoy the four mainstays that are empowering a lifestyle that's aligned with reality, a lifestyle that's beaming with benefit for all. This is what everyone really wants, everyone. And so there's a, a familiarization initially because we trained in an education that is focused on one aspect of our intelligence, the, uh, the display, so to speak. So we trained in... Uh, the way people, places, and things function, right? And then we've been trained in description or language and communication and how to communicate about these people, places, and things. And then, uh, but no one in my education gave a really, really direct, clear map and tools that provide the obviousness of the context, the very basis, the fundamental basis of everyone and everything. And so this is the stability that we were looking for in all these people, places, and things that we would never find. So it seemed really elusive. It seemed really uh, temporary. And so then we kept trying to find more of this, let's say, comfort or well-being or um, well-being in uh, these people, places, and things. And, and this is why there was a roller coaster of ups and downs because at some times uh, during the phases of life, we labeled some of these circumstances or experiences as good and then some as bad. And then the second we started labeling circumstances and experiences as good and bad, we tried to get more of the good and get rid of the so-called bad. So we put ourselves into this uh, tumultuous, unnecessary uh, participation in our relating with everyone and everything. And so in being introduced to a comprehensive view, a balanced view, then the obviousness of the spacious, open context of open intelligence that's always on, always the view, always looking, is obvious amidst an entire display, exactly as it is. So this inseparability is so crucial to be acknowledged and basked in so that it's an instinctive obviousness 24-7. And initially it may only seem moment by moment. And this is why short moments are so crucial because a short moment is an acknowledgement of the inseparability of open intelligence and its dynamic display. Data, dynamic display of open intelligence, inseparable. And so this color blue and the sky metaphor is repeated over and over again. 
so that the obviousness of open intelligence and its self-shine doesn't even have to be thought about. It's obvious in our instinctive view. And so initially, you know, you hear the, the suggestion to stop thinking for a moment. What's apparent? Wide open, clear, open intelligence, and the dynamic display of open intelligence itself. So this this idea that we bought into, that we're a separate subject and object orientation, that that's how uh, people, places, and things work, is completely blown open, completely blown open. And we can bask in the the ease and power of open intelligence as natural benefit, complete benefit, true benefit, pure benefit. So nothing is isolated into some category of good and bad. And this is a huge revelation because I had never realized the subtlety of how I had described certain circumstances as good or bad. And, and therefore related with myself and everyone based on those descriptions that were really reflexive, just mechanistic. And, and when, when we're introduced to relying on short moments, you know, wide open view, inclusive of everyone and everything exactly as it is, exactly as it is, that we're not trying to get or get away from anything at all. And so everything is recognized as the shine, the the brilliance of open intelligence itself. And so all the ways we participated in communicating shift. They just naturally shift. But it does take a choice initially, a choice to acknowledge the wide open view. It's always on, no matter what. And so in this inseparability opens up our beneficial power that's always available. It's almost like we were in a hibernating state, so to speak, and only (coughs) accessing um, our partial uh, capacity to be of benefit (laughs) because we were always looking to be of benefit only in certain ways that we were only capable at certain times if everything lined up and looked a certain way, then we could be beneficial. Or maybe we would be beneficial in the future. But in a short moment of acknowledging open intelligence and its dynamic shine right here, right now, that's tapping our beneficial nature that's always on. These three aspects are inseparable. Open intelligence, its dynamic display is dynamic data and pure benefit as the shine of all these three aspects. There's nothing we need to think about. It's simply acknowledging whenever we remember open intelligence is obvious, shining forth, just like the sun shines forth all of its rays in magical ways. Open intelligence is shining forth, self-releasing and vanishing in its own self-display as well. And so this, this incredible power of nature is the power of, of a human as well. We're not separate from nature. So we're acknowledging our always-on, spontaneous readiness that's responsive to every circumstance, that's customized responsiveness in every circumstance that's of benefit for all. And and so practically, the ways that we thought we needed to orient or um, strategize to contribute to to our heart's passion to uh, enjoy a lifestyle in which we're naturally engaged in activities that are already built in spontaneous benefit, then we don't have to effort to make anything look a certain way. 
It's a complete shift from an education where we had to strive to become something by accumulating things to get to something in the future. It's right here, right now, spontaneous benefit. And so to give a practical example, we can consider you know, what we really enjoy, what we love, what we, what we love to contribute in life, and, and see that if we recognize that open intelligence is the very context for knowing that, to know that passion, then it's unleashed in a way that takes its natural course, so to speak. And it's so much easier when we're availing ourselves to friendship groups and the, the network of the Four Mainstays that will empower the obviousness of open intelligence as the context for our passion to be contributing our gifts, strengths, and talents beyond any way that we might even imagine. But to start with, what are the ways we really, really enjoy contributing and, really, and, and share that with our trainer and open up that topic? And so then we're opening up the topic of how we can contribute rather than opening up topics of, of what we're lacking in. And for the first time, I, I was in a situation where all, all I heard from my trainer in every every single communication is empowerment. There was never, ever once anything demeaning or diminishing. And I had never been exposed to this kind of relationship. I'd never been exposed to a team of, of friends all over the world that are committed to upholding the best in everyone. And the best meaning, that not better than anything else, but the, the heartfelt passion to be of benefit for all. And that can, is unique for all of us. But what shifted is that way of contributing was always, is always grounded in the benefit of all. And so that shift in wanting con to contribute, to get something for oneself, or to get attention from someone else, or to try to prove oneself, or to try to get somewhere. All of that completely settles out into this natural movement to be a benefit for all, where we don't really have to think about it. The acknowledgement of open intelligence as the context for everyone and everything ignites our spontaneous responsiveness that's automatically a benefit for all. This just tickled my heart beyond anything I could have ever imagined. And what we all really, really want, ultimately, and didn't really know it's right here already. It's right here right now. And so all the stress and anxiety and urgency to try to be someone or get somewhere or save the world, it's it's right here in the responsibility of acknowledging reality as it is. And then we have complete confidence that if we set the example of an education and a, and a, a lifestyle that's exemplary of moment-by-moment moment beneficial responsiveness that's automatically altruistic, then in our indivisible intelligence, this lights up for everyone that's open and sees this uh, natural way of living. And so we attract those who are ready. And this is so clear that in a very short amount of time, Balanced View has mobilized globally and attracted those who are ready and willing to be pioneers and share a lifestyle that is ever-increasing benefit, ever-increasing beneficial responsiveness. And beyond anything we can imagine, but we can reflect on how far we've come, how we are more, more empowered to generously contribute and continue to, to share that so others are also drawn to open up and contribute in generous ways. So it all comes back to short moments, many times, whenever we remember, until it's obvious at all times, and then enjoying the glorious display of 
our gifts, strengths, and talents flourishing in magical ways.